What's good, YouTube? Hey guys, it's been really hot here. I haven't had a lot of time to fish. I think I'm gonna start fishing at night again. Uh, over the years, I've done a lot of night fishing. And uh, one of the things that uh, has always kind of bugged me about it, uh, about night fishing, is the cost of these things. These are Beacon Universal Lights. You can pick them up at Walmart for, I think I paid $3.46. Uh, and you just, it's a, they come with little attachments, you stick them on the end of your poles, you can stick them on your bobbers. But, uh, I think there's four sticks that come in this, so that's good for like one night of fishing. Uh, now, obviously you can reuse the, uh, the attachments, so that's kind of cool. But, here's what I've kind of, uh, I've got a little tip to share you, but let, let's see what, what you get inside one of these. Dump it out. All right, so we got some things. You just stick your nightstick down in there after you crack them. Goes on the end of your pole. The that kind of separates. Goes on the end of your pole. You can stick them on the end of your slip bobbers, which I actually have a brand new pack here. I I love slip bobbers. If you guys have never used slip bobbers, they are great. Uh, you can stick them on your slip bobber. That's kind of dumb. That doesn't work well. You got all these little, little accessories. That doesn't fit too good. The hell, these suck. Ugh, don't fit on my slip bobber. The hell. And the the other thing that I I really just like none of these fit on my slip bobber. Well, I take it back. I thought they did. Uh, the other thing I kind of hate about these is, uh, like maybe uh, you could fit one of these on each of your pull, but they have like different uh, different diameters. So that one's a little smaller. That one's a little bit bigger. If you got uh, maybe a bigger pull, uh, and they they dry rot after a couple of months, they get real hard and brittle, and you, you can't hardly ever use them. So this is kind of what I've come up with. Uh, like I said, this was $3.40, and uh, really the only usable things out of here are these glow sticks. Did I lose a glow stick? Yeah, I did. Okay. You see my desk is somewhat uneven. Oh my gosh. So what I've come up with is buying uh, glow sticks off of eBay and kind of bulk. Now, this is all I have left. Uh, usually I find a, I found a vendor who sells, uh, some hair on them. Um, uh, it's a lot of 50. Um, and I don't know if it's the same vendor, but I bought these over three years ago and I bought a hundred of them for 12 bucks plus free shipping. And they come with five sticks in each one. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm getting ready to reorder cause I've used all my favorite colors. All I have left is uh, yellow. It's, it's red, it's, it's, it's kind of pink. Um, yeah, those are the only colors I got. But it usually comes with uh, green, purple, blue, orange, and I guess yellow, maybe red. But uh, I'll show you real quick. I hope it shows up on the, on the screen. So this is what I'm gonna get right there buy three get one free that's actually kind of a good deal add four to cart uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy that many but the last one I bought a hundred and it's lasted me three years uh, so we got um, uh, 50 for 6.99 and free shipping so that works out to be just under 14 cents a stick that's pretty good so we'll just Pull these off to the side. I spent three dollars and forty-six cents to show you uh, something pretty useless. So, anyways, let's see. We got these uh, these yellow ones here. The yellow ones show up pretty good. Let's see what we got in here, just to show you. And they're bigger. These are, I think, one and a half inch sticks. So if you can see, you know, these are the ones that we bought out of the expensive three dollars and forty cents pack. Uh, and this is the one that we're going to uh, buy off the internet. It's a lot bigger. You're going to see it a lot better. Uh, and when it gets dark, I'm going to crack these open, uh, take them outside and do like a little uh, 
strap one on so a fishing pole and demonstrate what the bites would look like if you're interested in that it'll be towards the end of the video but uh i think that's a good that's a good deal this is like 13 cents 14 cents um and they've just like i said i bought 100 and they've lasted me forever now you say like these won't fit i guess you could probably force one in there oh look already already broke it open it's daytime it's not going to glow too good in here but that's going to be bright as shit especially take a pair of pliers to finish breaking it up but um how do i attach them to the pole i just use electric tape uh i bought this this is uh 60 feet of electric tape um you need about an inch and you're just going to wrap them around your pole and then you know you can stick them uh to your bobbers pretty easily on a slip bobber i'd kind of tape it down here a little bit the electric tape holds up well when your bobber goes underwater i've never had a problem like that but this was 57 cents uh so roughly it's about a penny an inch and uh so i'll roughly get to use this roughly 60 times and this should probably last me two years i usually just keep one in my tackle box so um i guess i'll, I'll just do a, a little quick uh tutorial i'm sure you guys can figure out how to tape these to the end of your pulls but i'm just going to do it anyways just to kind of show you what i'm talking about and then uh, uh after it gets dark uh, i'll record uh, uh how they glow outside um and uh yank on the uh yank on the fishing line to uh, simulate a bite so you guys can see what's going on with that uh, just so you can see how well they they show up uh, if they show up well on camera uh, you know they're gonna show up well when you're sitting two feet in back of your poles waiting on the on the catfish or whatever you're whatever you're fishing for so we'll just uh, we'll do that now okay guys so we got our, our rod tip here we're just gonna pull off about an inch of uh, electrical tape and we're always going to put it, you don't want it to overhang. You want it back here. You don't, so when you cast, you don't want the, your line to get wrapped up around your tip. So you always want it back here. So we're just going to put the glow stick right there at the edge. Going to put that on there. Move our line out of the way. And we're going to put the glow, glow stick right there on the top. And then we're just going to tightly wrap it around kind of pull it tight you don't want it flip-flopping and then just smooth everything out and there we go that's not bad that's 14 cents it's gonna last you you buy a box of those and some electrical tape it's gonna last you for a couple of years like I said I bought my last box three years ago and I still got a few the only reason I'm reordering is because I used all the colors I like I like green and blue uh, the other cool thing is I'll, I'll set up some more rods uh, this evening when it gets dark and uh, you can color code your rods. So, you know, you're fishing with a buddy, you walk off to the woods to go take a leak. He's like, dude, you're getting a bite. And you're like, which one? He can see like purple, green, yellow. It's the green one. You just got to bite on the, you know, on the red one, whatever. You can have multiple rods out. They can all be color coded. And, uh, you know, you're going to get your, your bite detection. And uh, like I said, when it gets dark, we'll... Um, uh, strap up some poles and uh, I'll, I'll pretend I'm a fish and you can see how well they show up in the dark So I'm uh, gonna go back inside now and show you real quick how I strap these up to my slip bobber I usually use two on my slip bobber um, Just because you know slip bobber can spin and you might not see it But with two you almost you almost always see it. it's pretty foolproof that way All right, well, let's go do that Okay, so I usually use uh, stick bobbers, and uh, as far as stick bobbers go, I really like uh, slip bobbers because you can adjust them on a dime, like I said earlier. But when I put these on, I'll, uh, you know, it's pretty easy. I mean, you just you just tape them on. I like to, um, and these are these are tall, so you don't want these to extend over. So you're kind of kind of want they're gonna float in the water probably you know up to here depending on how much weight you have on them so if you just kind of do one of these things it's all good
kind of straighten it up there. We're going to do another one on the other side. A little uneven. Easily fixable. Okay guys, not so pretty, but completely functional. So forgive me for it not being a uh, uh, super so pretty to look really at, but kind of it's place. functional. Uh, as long as you wrap the electric tape uh, pretty tight, just uh, tape when the fish takes it under, uh, you won't have a lot of problems with the, uh, the tape all loosening up. Just just wrap it tight and uh, uh, smooth everything down with your fingers so no water can get to the center of it. Straighten them up. Click it. Oh, just broke one. Now it's going to start glowing. And uh, I know that that looks funky as, as all get out, but uh, as long as you have these lower than where your line comes out and it's kind of even, um, it's going to be all good. It's going to glow like crazy. You're going to see bites. Um, and then when you're done, you can just peel it off and uh, do it again. These slip bobbers are super cheap. Why did I pay for these slip bobbers? Um, mm, 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 mm. Those are the bobber stops and floats. A dollar thirty-six for a three-pack, uh, and they actually, you know, they hold quite a bit of weight. So that's it, guys. Okay, guys. Here I have I have three set up. Uh, on my screen, they just look like little dots. You see the uh, the blue one in the center is actually purple. It just looks blue on my screen. I don't know what color it's going to come up when I finally edit this. But I'm standing right behind the poles. It's pitch dark. You can probably hear all the bugs out. Um, there's it's plenty bright enough. Um, I mean, you're going to see. Let's take this green one. See a bluegill's nibbling it. Bluegill. Boom. You know, I mean you're you're gonna see it. It's plenty bright enough. Plenty bright enough. That blue one shows up really good from the side. Uh yeah, well I was hoping these were gonna show up a little bit better. I'm standing back here. And, and it might once I edit it, but uh, uh, for right now, I mean, sitting right behind it, you're not going to miss a bite. It's easy to see. You don't have to have that, that headlamp on. All the moths are attacking your face trying to get at the light. Uh, so, guys, go order yourself some. Uh, have fun night fishing. I hope this helps. Uh, if you get them you don't like them, then you can give them to your kids or throw a mini rave party. So, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share, and comment. I appreciate it. And uh, tight lines.